Canada's government is actively committed to reconciliation with our Indigenous First Nations. How we do that is through targeted programs, enhancing and amplifying the Indigenous business community. We have a very large trade program where we support Canadian businesses that are looking to expand internationally. Where we think there is a lot of opportunity as well is the Indigenous to Indigenous relationships. Whether it's an Indigenous company from Canada selling potentially to an Indigenous business down here in the U.S. or partnering together on projects. I was recently putting two companies together that potentially would be interested in doing renewable energy projects together. I think there's really a lot of potential. The Government of Canada provides services in all sorts of industries and sectors. It helps all kinds of businesses grow. Whether they're in entertainment and media, or whether they're in the clean health and tech space, consumer goods, we know that the Indigenous community members are not only interested, but effective and amazing at those. My name is Patrice Mousseau. I am Anishinaabe out of Fort William First Nation, and my company is Satya Organics. I create handcrafted soaps and natural wellness products harvested by community members that honor cultural protocol and teachings passed on from my elders. I am co-founder of Tea Horse, a wild rice and tea company. We're just looking to expand and showcase this amazing grain, Manomen, to the world. We're not looking to compete with local travel companies. We're looking to work together. This is really just the beginning. We're seeing the fruits of it already. We just need to do it more. This is our time as Indigenous women. I'm following in the footsteps of my grandmother, my mother, my aunties. My grandmother was a trapper. She would go in the bush for days on end to check her traps, process them, prepare them, and she would sell to the Hudson's Bay Company. Could not speak a word of English, yet she could run a business. My business was started because of a need. My daughter developed eczema, and I wanted a solution for her that didn't include steroids. Now we are exporting into two countries, and we're in hundreds of stores across Canada. We've been working really hard to create a business that's in line with our values, and I think that's what we've done. To be an Indigenous business, to uh, decolonize the pecan and creating a waterless beauty product, we're able to leave the water for future generations. We've been working with Indigenous businesses for quite some time, and that's included a few different projects, like official Canadian presence at RES last year, where we had 25 Indigenous businesses from Canada. We're hoping to have an even more significant presence this year. We used RES this April to officially launch our U.S. division and brand. We came fully prepared with a great booth, and it was quite a success. Oh, I thought it was great. <laughs> I would love to go back again. We were able to help 25 Indigenous businesses make their business expansion a reality through working with great partnerships like the ones that we have with the National Centre. I just want to show everyone we can do this. We help each other, we support each other, we learn from each other, and that's really important for all generations.